What is the best website builder or funnel builder in 2023? In this video, I want to take a look at 10 of these. There's a few of these that I really like, and there's a few that I, I hate, and I hope you're not using them. And then there's a few up and coming that I think is good for you to know. We'll also talk about the pricing so you can compare them. The first one is Framer. So I want you to think of Framer as like Figma, where you can design stuff or sketch or Photoshop, but then you can hit publish and just voila, you have your website. So if you have a local business or you just have like a portfolio page, then you can use Framer to sort of so showcase work or information. But that's more like a website where you have like a digital brochure. It's not really great for order form, upsell and things of that nature. But one of the things that I like here, if you click edit template and you say boost your website, you say boost your funnels, you can see that it's, it's updating on the iPad and the, the phone as well. So it's responsive in that sense. And I think there's a lot of customization you can do here but also it comes with a lot of uh, limitations when you build funnels for other people, for example, like I do. And so let's take a look at the pricing. You can see they have a free forever and that one has the Made in Framer attached to it, the badge, but those are yearly. Uh, let's do monthly 10, 20, 30. So not expensive. Let's look at the next one called Life Funnels. Life Funnels is a new up and coming platform. I actually know the founders of, of this platform. They're amazing people. And so the tagline is, or the headline, because you deserve a better funnel platform. Now they're you know very experienced in e-commerce. And so if you take a look at the platform, you'll see a lot of like Shopify vibes to it, but like it's modern, it's easy to edit. Some of the struggles with Shopify is that you can't really customize the pages beautifully without like custom code. And so Live Funnels solves that. Uh, you can choose a team, add your products. And uh, I heard they're coming out with an update that will also have, you have both the store, you have the upsell, the card, the funnel, the um, downsell, upsell, all of these things that you know you need in uh, any type of business. So not just e-commerce, but info as well. Uh, the pricing is very low ticket, $9.99 and then $49.99. So very affordable there. And then you look at the templates like this one, for example, my store. Like I said, it has this sort of Shopify vibe to it. And a lot of things that, you know, for example, ClickFunnels is kind of harder to, to build out. You can do it if you customize a lot of things, but I've heard with ClickFunnels 2.0, uh, some of these things are coming as well. But then if you compare it to the pricing, which we'll get to in a second, there's a big difference there. So that is Live Funnels, future looking bright for, or light for Live Funnels. I'm sorry. Uh, Kick Pages, the next one. So Kick Pages, I like everything about Kick Pages, except for the editor. And I've talked to the founder, so they're working on the editor, but I think that the biggest thing that they have, we'll take a look at the pricing here in a second. But the biggest thing they have is the collection called Foundry. It's a tool that allows you to basically, let's take AI Builder and let's take a look at some of the sections that we might wanna use. So for an example, this one right here, then we have a block like this or testimonials and all these different things. So now I can either drag these around here or I can click build page and then change things there. So I can build you know page inside of cake pages and edit it from there. I think this is good visually to plan the page. And so that is a uh, kick pages. Pricing is monthly from 47 to 97 and 197. Mm -hmm. Next one is system. So I actually know the founder of system as well. I've talked to him a few times and uh, again, amazing team. So I like the people behind these platforms. I know they're working hard on improving the product and kind of looking at what the community needs. The headline here is get the world's easiest all in one marketing platform. And what's unique about system is that it's free forever on one of their plans. So everything that you see here, again, I don't really like the templates here, but I know they have other templates that are more beautiful. If you take a look at their template library. But uh, one of the things that, you know, they have is this free plan where you can have 2000 emails, uh, email contacts, sorry, three funnels, five pages per funnel, so 15 in total, one blog, one course, one community, and one automation and workflow and everything. And that's free. So. Yes, you'll have this badge like built with a system.io, 
But then if you want to update and upgrade, get you know rid of that is 27. So ClickFunnels launched their 2.0 a while ago. Still not fully done. And so I'm seeing some frustration from the community about ClickFunnels 2.0. It has a really good editor though. So let me see if we go into the, the platform. If I add section and I add a full page column and I add in headline, video, button, it has this great editor in terms of how fast and easy it is to use. It isn't fully launched with all the features, but it's out there in the beta. It's a little bit more pricey. So 147 a month, 197 or 297 per month uh, for unlimited funnels. So a little bit more pricey, which some people I can understand, they don't really like that. Now, Simvoli, so the Simvoli is in, in, there's like a mix between amazing team and they're very focused on development. That's why you don't see a lot of marketing, but they're also selling it as a white label solution. You can start a business selling your own software with your own branding. And uh, I think if you go down here, uh, your brain, your domain, your platform, you can white label and use this under your brand. There's a lot of things that I like about Simvoli. Like you can have the blog, the website, the funnels and everything. There's something with the editor that that feels a little bit, not clunky, it's fast, it's smooth. But I guess when you're used to one, then it takes a while to get used to, to a new one. So same thing with with all of these platforms, it takes like it has that initial learning curve. But similarly, great people. Pricing is $12 all the way up to $149, so not bad. And then white label, you can go from $59 to $199. That is Simvoli. Next one is Samcart. So Samcart in their marketing has used a lot of like throwing rocks at ClickFunnels. In the marketing, they're like, hey, we use a one page website. That's their funnel. One page website and we sell this much using it, you know, and it's called Samcart. That's their advertisement. You know, when you look at the page, the design is beautiful. It's clean. Everything looks great. Like some of the templates there, they're okay. I mean, they're good. But when you go in and log in and you, uh, and you test the uh, editor, and I test all of these because I'm a coach, I'm a course creator, and I teach funnel design and building, copywriting, all these things. Obviously, I want to test every single platform out there. Samcart's editor, it feels very like clunky, not like WordPress, but still clunky and old school. Pricing, as far as that goes, 59. 119 uh 299 so nothing crazy also not something that's like you wouldn't move there because of the price because like i said this light funnel system those platforms are way cheaper go high level obviously has been uh, gaining a lot of traction lately and a lot of the click funnels one or click funnels classic users instead of going to 2.0 they want to go high level and i i think there's two main audiences that go there so agencies who work with a lot of clients they like the fact they can have high level as sort of this all-in-one you can have like is a lot with like the pipeline and stuff and and calendar and all of these things like the lead and lead forms and all these things that you use as an agency with local clients and you help them you know those clients get leads and so it's really like this all-in-one platform if you go down and check out all of the things that they offer and and like crm and the booking platform and membership and pipelines and funnels and websites and everything in one place and then you have a lot of people selling it as a white label as well so you see in fact i have one here called course creator 360 and so you can see that it has this same sort of vibe to it, uh, like Goha level. So as a funnel designer and funnel builder, I wish they focused more on the design aspect of not just the homepage, which it could need a, a rebrand. But one thing I'll say is if you're in their community on Facebook, you know that they constantly update and they communicate with their audience, which some SaaS uh, founders don't. They really like they ghost their, their audience and their users. So at least they're there, they're updating, they're working on stuff and, and communicating with their audience. But in terms of design and branding, I think this is, if this feels like a 2019 instead of like a 2023. And then also if you log into the dashboard, it feels kind of old school there as well. But maybe that's coming after, you know how they say, functionality first, design after. So next one we have is Kajabi. Kajabi is definitely one of the, the most traditional uh, mainstream uh, sort of corporate. Kajabi obviously started as a course creator platform, added the website builder. Now they bought a, a community platform, integrated it with Kajabi. So they're growing 
the taking all these taking over all these different things it's it's not bad but it's not like if you use the editor to build websites or funnels on it it's just clunky it's just old it's not there yet and i wouldn't i hate using it to build anything we do host our courses on kajabi but we're moving away to something else which we'll do another follow-up video based on the course platforms here in a second pricing monthly pricing you can see 147 uh, 149 sorry 199 399 and then we have i mean this one kartra i I don't know, man. When you look at this, you, you feel like it's an internet marketer from 1999 that built it, launched it. Functionality-wise, it's it's okay. It's not crap. But I don't I can't use this. What Bruh. is the oh there we go? There, there's the video. So at least like try, you know, try to design something that's good, that's 2023. But then also like groove funnels. Uh, and this is just my opinion, so don't sue me. Groove funnels, they focus on design here, and it's not perfect, but then they miss the, um, the technical side of actually making it work. A lot of glitches, a lot of a lot of rumors around Groove as well, where they say, oh, they're leaving their users, they're leaving, like there's no development happening, a lot of these things. I know my feedback might be, you know, not exactly on the building, side of things as much as I talk about the company as a whole, but sometimes that's what you need. You need to hear the full picture, not just, oh, it's cheap, right? Like they sold a groove for a lifetime fee when they launched. And, um, you know, I haven't seen a lot of people move over and stay with them. So I think to conclude everything, I think how you can look at softwares and how good they are is look at the user experience and how long people stick with something. And then when they leave, ask them why they left and what they found, why they moved over, and what they really like in that new platform better. So for me, there's a few winners here. I'm very bullish on light funnels long term. I think this has great potential. I'm very uh, confident in system that they can do great things as well. Uh, I think kick pages can do great if they update their editor. And then I think uh, click funnels. If you have more patience, you know this could be. I don't know how long, but. ClickFunnels 2 with their budget and their team. Uh, I think ClickFunnels 2.0 will be good long term, but a lot of people don't have the patience to wait, so they switch to something else. And so those are probably the, the biggest ones that I would say. Framer, maybe if they add the order form and the upsells and things of that nature. Comment below which one you're using. I'm curious. And if you want to learn how we build funnels for clients and we make money doing that, six figures as a funnel builder, and check out the link to Fulton Funnel Designer below. I'll see you in the next video.